All right, hey Frosty, uh, go ahead and made that video that you wanted, as you can see here, how to use the code breaker with the PCSX2 emulator or PS2 emulator. So to get started, obviously you want to go and find where your emulator is and go ahead and start it up. And once it's started up, you want to go and find the ISIS uh, that you, wherever you have it, you know, the code breaker and uh, find it. Once it's found, and, you, and just to let you know, I did uh, do this so you could see. If you've already selected a different game, and you probably have known this if you use PS2 emulator, you want to always swap the disc. Um, so swap it if it says swap. And of course, make sure that you have selected the code breaker, code breaker 9. And then once that is done, you want to boot fast or reboot fast and click yes and let it load up Pomerch you can trust yeah right <laughs> no I'm just kidding alright so it'll load up of course and whenever it does decide to load up you probably won't have this I don't know if you will or not alright so once you're at the main menu and you've got a game that's already in here. You can go in and check. You want to go over. Use D-pad to select where you want to go. X to select it. And you want to find your game. For example, if your game's 007 Nightfire, well, then you would select 007 Nightfire. Or go into it and individually select cheats. To get into it and go out, You want, if you want to leave, you want to hit right D-pad or left to go in. Okay. X selects the entire thing and everything in it. And you cannot have normally more than one sheet. It'll normally warn you or it'll turn it off and uh, just select it. Okay. So I'm going to go down to Final Fantasy. Just real quick. Okay, so here's Final Fantasy International Drops. But I'm going to show you how to add a code. To add a code, you want to hit circle. And for example, I'm going to make mine FF. So FF. Then you want to hit start start to add it and it'll automatically add it and take you to it. Left D pad to enter it. Then to add the name of the code you're adding like infinite health for example hit circle and type infinite. So I N F start there's infinite. Then you want to hit left again take it to another page hit circle and uh, codes can be a pain to find. I don't know any specific areas I found international on some weird uh, Australian slash Japanese side but when it comes up to that and you find your codes that you want it'll be something like this 1 9 a b c 4 5 a 9 8 0 1 3 4 5 d e f okay then once that's done you hit start it'll add the code now for each cheat for example infinite health well, normally anywhere, and I'll give you an example, we'll have anywhere from one to 300 codes to make up that one cheat code. So once that is done, you hit back out, and it'll ask you if you want to save it, which I'll show you. Since I'm not going to be saving these, because I don't want a game called FF, I'm going to delete it. I'll show you internationals, for example. Okay, so we go in, and you can see that here that I have made some gills. The master code. Forgot about that. Master code you want to put in first, or at least make sure the master code is in there, because if you do not have the master code, it will not work. Now I'm going to show you an example of what I meant by sometimes you need to use more than one code. I was lucky and some of these were, see like for example, right here. To use this it was two codes, and I think this one was more than one too, nope. There's one, and this one was four, so there you have it you do now now know that some codes you need more than one so once you're done it'll ask you to save if you've already put some in see changes to save have been made would you like to save i'm not so you hit click no you would click yes all right oops forgot to select my game so i'm going to select all the cheats okay so once your game's selected you want to hit start okay it'll say nine cheats on final fantasy then you want to hit x to start the game now you'll get this menu. Don't do anything. You want to go back to your emulator. From the emulator, you want to hit ISO selector and the game. For example, mine's Final Fantasy International. 
you want to hit swap. Come back to the uh, code breaker and hit continue. Give it a second. It'll bring up the selection page of the PS2. You want to go to the disc and hit enter. And then, of course, give it some time. This game normally takes a while to load up. Now, I'm going to show you something real quick, okay? If you've got your command up, which is your console commands, and you see something... Okay, well, I guess it didn't want to show it. But if you, when you open it up, and you see a bunch of random red letters, don't worry, that's just your codes being loaded. Uh, obviously, it didn't want to show it now. I don't know why. We'll go ahead and start your game up. Start a new game or load your game. Alright, then once your game is started, you want to hit select. After you do that, it should be active. You'll have all your money, your equipment, and I'll show you just to make sure that these do show you that these do work. As you can see all items have been unlocked. Reaper item in the game. So, there you have it. That's how you use Codebreaker, man. Uh, if anybody else checks out this video, be sure to stop by the stream. I stream on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and the other days are random. Channel is www.twitch.tv F E I T H E O I R Faith You Are. And this has been a tutorial. And if anything else you need, just let me know.